Hi, I'm Tom McGrath, Vice President of New Product Development at Loyola Press. I'm also the author of Raising Faithful Kids and the father of two daughters. I remember feeling a profound sense of responsibility as I first held my daughter in my arms just moments after she was born. Of course, I felt immense joy and gratitude at being present for the miracle of her birth, but I also knew that my identity had forever changed. I was this precious girl's father and would be forever and ever. And that meant I was responsible for her care physically, emotionally, financially, morally, and spiritually. And as I thought of my own less than perfect love of God and inconsistent attention to the practice of my own faith, I thought, who am I to be one of the primary nurturers of her tender faith? Thankfully, our pastor, Father Bill, came to visit and prepare us for Judy's baptism, and he offered some great advice. He said that as we are all made in the image and likeness of God, if Kathleen and I wanted to nurture Judy's faith, we should act like God would toward our daughter. Not in the high and mighty sense, but by doing the little things that would welcome her into a world of love and grace and care. And we learned he was right. Whenever we responded to Judy's cries with food, a changed diaper, some snuggling, we taught her to expect that God would always hear her prayers because he longs to comfort us. When we took steps to baby-proof our home, we emulated God who welcomes us into this wonderful world which is ours to live in and explore, and which reveals God's goodness and care at every turn. When we had playtime or sang to her or splashed with her in the tub or baby pool, we prepared our daughter for a world that is full of joy and delight. When we were present and attentive to our daughter, we prepared her for the real presence of Jesus in her life, especially in the Eucharist. And we, when we created little rituals at mealtime, at bedtime, upon waking up and on our birthdays and holidays, our daughter came to know the joy of special times and actions that symbolize and celebrate the sacredness of our minutes, hours, days, and years. So the truth is that as parents, the biggest faith lessons we will convey will be delivered in the ordinary moments that take place while living life together as a family. And the earliest lessons will be in the simple gestures of care we offer, in touching, in cooing, in holding, and being present to, and especially in responding lovingly to an infant's cry, even at two in the morning. These are the child's first lessons about life, about love, about God. And because you too have been created in the image and likeness of God, you have all the preparation you need.